19, around 1997, 96, or around that time, it was between 95 and 97, um, a woman took her son to a, a fashion show, and it was a fashion show with children in it uh, around his age, and um, she looked at him and said, do you want to do that? And she was, and he looked at her and replied, "No." And then um, he said, "But you can put me in uh, commercials or what have you." And after all the casting calls and um, just <laughs> overall enthralling experiences throughout life, a web show that's been going on pretty darn good for a few years and now has really felt the true light of a thespian and an actor. My name is Nigel Burnett and I am an actor. <laughs> and that's how they opened the wonderful Screenwriters Guild Awards. And that would have definitely been mine, but of course you know this is the Coverboy Chronicles. So, uh, yeah, I'm going, this is the review of the uh, SAG Awards, and I'm going to jump right into it and let you guys know that after this I'm going to do the uh, Fashion Police review. Oh my God, you have to watch that. And I apologize for my... Um, Alright, so we're going to dive right into it. The first award handed out to the night was the um, most or the best outstanding fem uh, female actor in a supporting role. And the winner was Lupita, uh, Lupita uh, Nyong'o and, uh, for 12 Years of Slaving. It was absolutely, it was definitely a needed thing. Like, I feel like she's, like, with her getting her Oscar, I feel like I give her early Oscar buzz, but I'm not going to give anybody my Oscar buzz, but you guys will know that I am going to do an Oscar one, not this month, but I will do one next month, okay? Um, so be sure to watch that, too. Um, then, uh, best, uh, male in a supporting role was uh, Jared Leno and um, he even though he played he was drag I just I don't under it's like the one thing that I don't understand about Hollywood is that the you got balls if you play a gay part and it's just I guess you know it, 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 it's interesting but you know They've been showing, they've been giving Matthew McConaughey the last few uh, award ceremonies, um, his due for the fact that he played someone with AIDS, and he, uh, he went through a lot in the movie that he played, and he was really, he was really precise, but I'm supposed to be talking about Jared, he was absolutely, I feel like that was, for him to play that and then him getting like recognized because it's not really his type of person and you wouldn't think that he would play that type of character I would say applaud him and that is a true thespian for you um then the best female in a, um, the best female actor in a comedy series was Julia Louise Dreyfus and she won this like earlier on in her like earlier on in her career and then now this is like another one for her so they did like a flashback and I guess you could say this is something like I like to see about the fellow thespians like the flick backs and the new ones and things of that nature and then the most consistent ones and things of that nature like the winners of one um of the, one of the next ones that I'm going to say um, the best male actor in a comedy, uh, comedy series was, uh, Ty Burrell for, uh, a Modern fam Family. A lot of people watch that show. I kind of glom in and out of it 
you know, I do think it's pretty funny, don't get me wrong. I, I think it's hilarious, and if you don't watch it, you should. Um, but, like, or at least, like, you know, probably watch, just watch one episode. I've at least watched more than one episode. I'll give it that. I've watched more than one episode, but it's just, I don't find myself watching it more as often as I should. But, um... Yeah, I do think it was definitely deserved because it's 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 a very interesting show. I love the fact that they've had four consistent wins in um in their category for uh best comedy series. They've had four consistent wins and they won this year as well. And so it's kinda like, you know, people are getting nominated and winning and I think Sophie won one of these because op- uh, it's been four seasons I suppose and so I don't know it's 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 really cool I like I, I, I'm i kind of like a modern family where they're going in terms of the award season and then um the best female actor in a, a TV series or a, a mini series or a television movie was Helen Marin but everybody felt or no, blah, let me feel, let me correct myself. Helen Marin and a few others agreed that you know it it kind of sh- should have been Elizabeth Moss, but she, that's why she gave her her due. She was like, you know what, I personally believe that it should have been for her, but you know what, it's fine. I'll take mine. <laughs> it's fine, and, and gave her really nice speech, and it was absolutely wonderful. Speaking of somebody who gave a very interesting speech was the person that was uh, awarded the uh, best male actor in a, a TV series or movie, or uh, miniseries, was uh, Michael Douglas. And, you know, he always refers to uh, Matt Damon, of course, because um, of whatever reason. And he was like, oh, my God, why? Are he, they gave a look at uh, Matt Damon and was like, Matt Damon, why? And he kind of was like, no, please don't. Not right now. Not at this award. Because he does it. If you watch the interviews of Michael D- or the um, wins of Michael Douglas, he always says, you know, the only reason why I beat you is for whatever reason. He comes up with a different one for each for each one. But um, he was like, um, he said that the one thing that he really enjoys is the fact that we kind of let him step out of his father's shadow because of the fact that you know his father is a great writer's guild award and still uh, alive and kicking and his father was absolutely fabulous back in the day like if y'all don't know Kirk Douglas y'all need to know Kirk Douglas baby because that that's an originator if you're an actor and you don't know who Kirk Douglas is you're yeah, <laughs> not for you. It's not for you. You don't know the Douglases. You, oh, child. And then um, the last time achievement award was given to Rena uh, Moreno, and I love me some her in West Side Story, and I love me some her in Oz. I love me some Sister Peter Marie. That that. That's my home girl. I I can mess with some. I I I live. I live. So um, then, y'all remember I said that y'all need to be watching Downton Abbey because Maggie Maggie Smith won the uh, best female actor in a drama a drama series, right? And I told y'all she's been getting, it's been some stuff that's been going down. But the whole thing was, like, I don't know what it is. They've been nominating um, uh, Jessica from, uh, Jessica Lee from uh, American Horror Story. She played Fiona. And I just really feel like, I, I do feel like her performance is just like, and then this is her last year. Like, you know, they've been giving everything to uh, Breaking Bad because, you know, Brian Cranston uh, won Best Male Actor in a Drama Series for, like, everything in, an, in, in all of the award seasons. The People's Choice, everything, baby. Um, and Breaking Bad won, like, everything in terms of the uh, Best Ensemble Drama Series. Like, they've been winning all of them since, you know what I'm saying? So, um, 
It's been absolutely bananas, bonkers, crazy type foolishness going on. But um, I can't talk about Matthew McConaughey now because he won uh, the Best Male Actor in a Leading Role. And um, like I said before, it was well-deserved. Um, Matthew approached this a lot differently than any of his other roles that he's ever played. It's something, it was like a real, you know, every actor has that one serious role that everybody will remember them forever besides the one, besides his first movie that everybody is going to know him for, like, bam, they're definitely going to know him for this one, like, I, I, good luck to him in the Oscars, yeah. That's all I have to say for that. Um, and then, um, best female actor um, actor in a leading role was uh, Kate Blanchett, and um, she's been kind of taking them home too. Like Blue Jasmine's been doing pretty good work for her. It's it's actually been doing okay for her. And then finally, the last award that was passed out for the night was the uh, Best Ensemble in a Motion Picture, which was um, American, the winner was American Hustle, Hustle, Blah, Hustle, 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 Child, American Hustle, and they won, uh, they've been, they won, like, three Golden Globes, including Best Picture, so, They've got a Screenwriters Guild Award, um, and they've got, they've been doing the, they've been doing the damn thing, American Hustle. So, um, be sure to, uh, tweet the show, at Cover Lovers, Cover Boy Chronicles, um, my Facebook, my Twitter, my, uh, Instagram and my like page. And speaking of like, you need to like, comment, and y'all know what to do. Subscribe to the Spirit Sosa, my YouTube channel, and be sure to watch the next video of the Fashion Police Review. Okay? Alrighty, y'all. Uh,